guys, I'm here today with a live reaction to JoJo! Episode 25, right? Yeah, episode 25, guys. I can't, yo, I cannot wait to jump into this episode. Cause my girl Trish. <laughs> Bro, I'm hyped. I am hyped for Trish. Like, what's going on right now? Like, the predicament she's in, she's going to have to, like, unleash her stand or something or like you know what I mean she has to do something in order to save the hand that Jordan is building you know from the ladybug and if Jordan can get this hand he obviously gets his hand back the fight is not over and he can heal everyone and we can continue and we can find out the boss's identity let's jump right into this guys and let's, let's go man so You got this, Trish. You got it. She's got this, yo. I have so much faith in, like, with her. Like, look at this stand. Like, come on, man. Who's scared? I'm not even gonna lie. Last episode was kind of scary. It was like a horror movie. Like, all the jumping and all and the sounds and all of that. I like looking at the opening. Just in case I miss stuff. You know what I mean? Usually that's what happens when there's, like... Openings with like a lot of deep meanings and all of that like you miss a lot of things, you know Look at how far we came. This is crazy. We came so far, yo I wonder what that place is that is showing it's like a mansion I love this color change This is, I love this scene. Like, look at Jorno, man. Yo. And Golden Experience, just them together, the lighting, straight blonde. I love that scene. Ugh. So what do we do? No! Ah, you got this, Trish. What is that? And it'll make sound. Yes, you can, Tris! You got this, yo! You got this, girl! Come on, do it! Look at how he destroyed that chair! Yeah, you, you can... But she can't move fast because if she does... Yo, he's so annoying, man! Go attack the chair! Wait... Why isn't he at- Why wasn't he attacking the reclining chair? Yeah, why? Liquid? The drink! 
At first, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was like, dude, Trish, like, no. At first, I was like, what is that liquid? You know what I mean? Like, is it pee? I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. Come on. Yo, Trish, don't give up. What? Wait, what? Did you- is that Trisha's stand? Look! It is! I remember that when she made the print! So what is it? Like, does she melt things? Look! Look at Trisha's stand, yo! Bro, Trisha's stand looks awesome. So, like, what's my ability exactly? something Huh What can you She makes stuff softer? <laughs> I kind of feel bad for him. Did we kill it from that? So she can make things soft. Like the ground, I guess, anything like that. Look at that. I love how Trish is stand. She's like, you know, you got this? Motivating her and all of that. No, Trish! Not like this! Trish, stop giving up too easy! Whoa, whoa, stop it! <laughs> like, don't give up too easy, you know? I get it that this is new to her, so it makes sense, you know what I mean? Yeah, Trish, look. What happened?
Book? Yo, what the? <laughs> Talk about a change? She changed so much. She was talking about let's not move and all of that into like. That looks like a skull. Or maybe that was just me. It looked like a skull for a second. What is your name actually? Spice Girl? What? Is Yo, that's kind of cool! I'm trying to remember all the Spice Girl songs that I know. Now, tell me what you would- I'll stop. I'm sorry. We did it! I feel like we're good. I think we did it. I hope we did it. Alright, let's bring it to the thing. To the cockpit. Mm-hmm. Could we say Jordan did that on purpose? No, I don't think so, right? I don't think he did it on purpose. Maybe, I don't know, because Jordan, he's so, what's it called? So ahead? Bruno's gonna come back like, what the hell? What happened here? What? Wait, it's not dead? What's going on? The thing, he's still alive. But what happened? He went in the engine. No way, yo. This thing's unbeatable. It's like a freaking zombie. Every time you kill. Look at how much it is here. Don't look, Trish. Yo. It's taking over the plane. We gotta jump out! And now look at it. That's true. We're going to be stuck in the ocean. I'm going to panic. No, Trish has got this. Trish got this, yo. Trish! Trish, what the hell, man? No, she has a plan. Trish got this, Bruno. Have faith.
oh yeah, everyone's in the turtle. I was saying, where's Drono and everyone? But they're obviously in the turtle. Nice! That was so badass! That was awesome! Yo! That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect, honestly. I doubt it's that. I, I think they're still going to be on to us, though. Or maybe not, and we will find the identity because of this. What? Look at it, yo! Yeah, we have... What the heck? Music. Arrivederci. <laughs> yeah, that's so sad, yo. So he's like a sea monster now. <laughs> Yo, I love that they did that. That's so funny. Yo, Trish. Bro, look at the gang. Bro, I respect Trish so much. I mean, I always liked her, but like this, it's went to another level, yo. Who's this guy? Oh, the boss. That's the boss, right? Why do they hide it? They hide him like, like we don't know. Look. Mm-hmm. Sweating. Look at King Crimson. Oh, my. Look at his face. <laughs>
It was you, right? He's gonna kill her, right? Oh no, he wouldn't. Like, he could just do King Crimson and leave, actually. Yo, bro, Trish was so bad ass, yo. Oh my gosh, yo. And at the end, you know the music, dun, 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 dun. you know the Jordan music, the music that always plays, bro. I love that music because it's always like the, it's so well placed, right? Let's just say like a scenario, La Squadra would come and say something like, "Oh, you can't beat me," and then the music would play, and Jordan was like. I can beat you because I have two hands. Something like that. And then Jordan would just beat them. I love it so much. Like, it's so befitting. And it feels so good when you hear it because you know we won. Like, you never hear this. Like, you never hear it when we lose. When you hear it, we win. You know what I mean? Like, it means we won. Like, we did our thing. Oh, man. And the Spice Girls. What a nice stand for Trish. Like from a very good band, like you know that a lot of people know. I feel like it really fits her too. Like just her style, her aesthetic as a character. And you know when I was looking at, you know, Spice Girls, like her stand, like you saw there was like a division sign on her head and whatnot. And then I was looking at Trish's like choker, I don't know what you would call it, like necklace or something. And there was like addition and subtraction signs and I'm looking all over the design and I'm always seeing these signs like addition multiplication subtraction and all of that and I really think that's a cool feature that they added with the stand like that's really awesome I really like the stand designs I love the dynamics of the stand here and I always mention it just seeing Spice Girl right talk to Trish motivating Trish it makes you look back at like the previous stands we've had, right? Star Platinum. Star Platinum never told, you know, anyone anything or said anything. Magicians Red never did anything like that. Like, they were just, you know, like, as the series progresses, you can see a movement to where stands are more open-minded. They communicate with their users, like stuff like that, and that's what I love. I love interactive stands. I love a stand with a personality to an extent, even if it's a bit different than the main character. Or, like for example, it could be like a different part of them. Like for example, um, like how, I don't know how to explain it, but like, you know, like a part that they don't really show and the stand shows that part of them, that side of them. You know what I mean? I really love the dynamic of the stands. Just seeing Spice Girls telling, you know, like even giving, what's it called? Trish pointers like don't run and all of this and then you see Trish like towards this episode It really took a while for her just to be determined and motivated and to mature because it's like and I can't blame her Because it's like you just started seeing the stand and started using its ability It takes time for you to get adjusted of course You're still scared and I really just loved seeing her courage and her really try to do the best she could even though she knew it was risky and she was risking her life but she knew she was doing it for the greater good because if she pulled this off everyone would be okay and I just man ah, oh, and just her ability like makes things softer it's pretty cool but then again it look yeah it's a, it's a good ability it's a good ability right because it's like I'm trying to think of it I mean all stands have their benefits but I'm still like trying to think all right because you know like the whole thing is La Squadra wanted Trish so they can know the father through her, right? And it, I, it, I guess it wasn't through her stand. Didn't they say they wanted it through her stand or something like that? And looking at the stands, like... 
other than color scheme to an extent, I think the color scheme is like a little bit like the same, maybe just a little bit. Like, for example, King Crimson has like the red, whitish, green thing going on in him. Trisha's stand also has that color scheme to an extent, I think. Like, if I remember, like, let me go back so I can see her stand once again so I can just remember the color scheme. Bro, I love that moment, bro. It's just turning yo! Incredible. Incredible. And you know, I knew this episode was gonna be Trish hype. I just knew it. I felt it. Like, I'm like, yo, this is gonna be Trish's episode. And I'm happy she has an episode like this, honestly. Because the whole thing is, like, Trish has always just been a character that is just traveling with us. You know what I mean? We're protecting her and all of that. And seeing this, it's like now it's like she can protect herself to an extent. She's not as weak as you think. Don't single her out. Like she's strong. She's courageous. And she's like, oh, I love it. I freaking love it, yo. I'm trying to see it. One sec. I'm trying to wear. I, I can't find a scene with this. I can't find a scene! And you know what's crazy? Like, yeah! So, yep, definitely has the red, white, green going into eyes. Just like King Crimson. Now, let me go to the ending where we can see Crim like King Crimson's color. Yep, and King Crimson also, same thing. White, red, green eyes. I don't see too much yellow on King Crimson, like Spice Girls, but you know, you can see like to an extent. The colors are there. So, but then again, how does that even still help though? That, that wouldn't help at all. There, there's just literally the colors that are similar, but then it's like, and then you have nothing else. What? And you know, I thought like stands, like they match like the parent kind of to an extent. I guess it makes sense that, you know, of course, like they wouldn't give Trish the same stand as King Crimson because then maybe she would be like OP. Because think about it, right? King Crimson, what he does going forward, 10 seconds and whatnot. Imagine Trish had like a version of that or something. Then it would be kind of too easy, I guess, right? Because then it's like, oh, well, I can do it too, Dad. You know what I mean? Like something along those lines. But oh, man. And, you know, I feel like we need to really defend Abakio for these coming episodes because I feel like the boss's goal is Abakio because the boss knows Abakio is the one that can crack everything. All the information that's gone, that Moody Blues, you know everything will always be like with Moody Blues around, everything will always be known. You know what I mean? Because the ability just to go like rewind and all of that, it's, it's useful. Like, he was freaking flying a ship, yo! I mean, not a ship, an airplane. He was flying an airplane, like, with just his stand, that's so powerful. Like, the, and you know what I mean? It's not even necessarily due to just strength. Like, it's not like, oh, it's just OP and strong. It's literally, oh, well, he's very useful. And that just goes to show you, like, the depiction of stands. Like, you know, there's those stands that are, like, really good for combat, good at fighting. And then you have those stands that are just perfect for being incognito, like hiding, or that are really good for stealth takeouts, like taking out someone, assassination. Then you got those stands that are just good for overall, like things like flying airplanes and all of that. You know what I mean? Like, that's why you gotta love stands and the dynamic of them, because it's like you can do so much with stands. You can do so much, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to just be combat. Like, incredible, you know? I'm still, like, I'm still, like, baffled with this episode, like, just Trish. Like, cause I love this episode, yo! Oh my gosh, yo! Uh, I don't know if I'm the only one who's hyped for this episode like this. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but, like, Yo, this was awesome. Trish is awesome, man. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you made it to the end, you're amazing, yo. Peace out.